I think this is gonna be my first project. I'm trying to dig this out. I don't know how big it is, but it's in the wildflower bed. It's on a level surface. And I mean, I don't know. This should be the best place to practice. And this is the one thing that I need to get out eventually. And I wanna do it before spring. So I guess I'm gonna try and get this out first. All right, so I've never used this backhoe before this time. I did not know what I was getting myself into. I feel like I learned the controls pretty quickly for the most part. I still have some uh, getting used to the scooping motions and and I don't know it's it's not hard to control but I'm not digging as well as I know it can but that'll come with time hey this rock was big yeah One thing about using this backhoe, you have to keep moving the tractor every time you want to get a little bit of an angle. That's why I understand now that people say that if you get a, um, a excavator or a mini excavator, it will be easier. Hey, I thought this was going to be some easy rock to get out. This thing turned out to be massive. I'm not gonna be able to get that out with this thing. I'd have a much easier time just trying to dig around it and leave it there. That thing is massive. I'm never gonna get that out. I need to leave it exposed though, or something, because that thing is huge. I don't know how I'd ever get it out. That thing has got the way, I mean, I'm not even budging it. And I've been digging this whole time. That thing is massive. That rock is massive. Don't know how I'm gonna get that out. So I went and got the pickaxe out. And the shovel. That didn't do me no good. And what I found out is that thing is made out of solid concrete. Somebody poured that there. It's actually got a pipe in the middle of it. I'm almost willing to believe that it might have been like a septic tank at some point in time or something. But I don't feel like I'm ever going to get this thing out. I'm going to have to get somebody to come and get it out. Or maybe in the future I'll build something over top of it because it's just too big to move. I don't know. I have no clue on what I'm going to do to get that out. So let's get the dirt moved. I got an area on the trail that I need to cover or need to fill in because it feels unstable when I'm driving a tractor. So I'm going to take a little bit of this dirt from right here and take it back into the trails and drop it on this area right quick. Y'all yeah, take a ride with me. Hey, that steering is real. It's like if you're going too fast and it's muddy out, that steering. I hated getting it all muddy on trails like this, but this is what I'm going to be using it to do. So I might as well just get used to it getting muddy. Hey, you can see where I clipped that tree once already with the, with the backhoe. I had to straighten that up. And so that area right there. When I drive up it with the tractor, it feels all right. But coming down, it felt like it was going to like tip. It was it slid a little bit the first time I came down right there. So I wanted to add a little bit of dirt. 
that area right there to the left i plan on eventually putting a pond right there but i don't know what i'm doing yet so i got another area i'm gonna play around in a little bit more so right now i'm just smoothing out that area the best i can i'm just trying to get a feel for how this tractor work right now i don't know what it's capable of and i really don't pull it out the garage too much because i don't want to tear it up but i gotta figure out how to use it so right now i'm a little bit intimidated by it So we're going to get one more scoop of dirt right quick and take it back there, drop it on the same area. And then I got an area where I'm going to practice digging a hole. Uh, it's another area where I plan on putting a, a little pond in the yard. So I'm going to take it back there and I'm going to dig a little bit back there. Just practicing digging with the backhoe. I thought this would be the perfect spot to learn how to dig. I got a couple stumps that I want to get out, but I don't want to go... Uh, digging out stumps in the yard and not knowing how to use the backhoe already like i just want to do my best not to tear up in the yard but i'm already tearing up pretty good <laughs> hey speaking of tearing up hey that rob system is tearing up my gutters pretty bad y'all I got to get a shed real quick. So that's it right there. Now we're about to get out there and dig. There we go. So I didn't know how to get down in this area because it's a real sharp turn. So what I decided to do is I was going to back it up in that area. And it ain't hard to back it up. It's actually pretty easy. And now this area right here is where I dug with the, uh, uh, just a pickaxe and a shovel one time. I was planning on putting a little pond right here. So, now that I got the back out, I figured we go ahead and put that pond in. Here we go. This is the start of it. Just trying to learn how to dig a hole. And you can see it's already water right there. So let's see how this works. And I was just playing around trying to see how it, how it digs. And it actually digs pretty easy. Much easier than a shovel and a pickaxe. So learning how to do uh, like full buckets, like full scoops every time you do a bucket, 
Uh, that was a little challenging at first, but I feel like I ended up getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Um, actually, one thing that I liked is how you could use the bucket and move the dirt out the way after you like, put, so you can get the dirt a little bit further away. Because a lot of times people say how limited you are to your range of motion, which is true. But I would just take the bucket and push the dirt further away on the hill. And I can just pick up, you know, go around and scoop up some dirt and move it later. But right now, I'm just playing around seeing how it digs. And it actually is digging very, very well. I like it. You see how I use the bucket and scoot the dirt back. And that helps you get the dirt a little further away. I don't know how deep I got this hole, but it's a pretty deep hole. I would say it's a good maybe three feet deep, maybe maybe four. I know I didn't get down six feet, but I got down a good probably three or four feet. I'm going to measure it eventually. But I'm pretty happy with how it digs. It does very well. And I'm glad that I'm finally happy to have the capability to be able to do so. Because digging here, every, I mean, it's rocks everywhere. And that's what I was hitting mainly was rocks. And it's a whole lot of rocks in that pile of dirt now. But when you try and do this with a pickaxe and a shovel, you hit one of those rocks. And even if the rock is only like a few inches in size, trying to find where you get around that rock, it could take you a long time with a pickaxe. But this made easy work of it. Once I learn how to use it, I'm sure I'll find out the best ways to, to use it. Like what kind of projects it would be good for. I haven't figured out how to use the front bucket really well for scooping stuff up yet. I guess I need a like a tooth blade on the front of the bucket to actually be able to dig with it. But I'm happy with the way it digs overall. It does a very good job. There's the hole. It's not too deep. But that, I mean, it's that's at least four feet, maybe a little bit deeper, maybe four and a half. But it's a small hole. But look, it filled in. That's a pretty decent sized hole. I'm going to go out and try it again some other day. Look, 6.6 .6 hours on it. Let's get this boy back to the house. Get it cleaned off.
boy out today. I got it muddy. Dug a couple holes with it. The one with the big rock in the middle of the wildflower bed, that one out there, that was horrible. I'm gonna be honest with you. This could not get that out. At least I don't know how to do it yet. I'm gonna figure it out. But for right now, that's gonna be an exposed rock. And uh, as I learn what I'm doing, I'll figure it out. But for right now, I got a hole dug pretty deep. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just practicing. I don't know how to get the dirt back in the hole. I'm gonna see if it fills in with water. But uh, so far, that's all I've done with it. Um, trying to get as much use out of the backhoe as I can before I take it off. I thought that I would get that out over there. I got a couple stumps I wanna get out. I'll try and use it for a couple stumps before I take it off. But once spring comes, the backhoe is probably gonna come off unless I'm doing a project. And I don't see the backhoe going back on once I take it off, unless I'm doing like a specific project and I don't see doing a whole lot of projects with it. It actually adds a lot of weight to it. So uh, I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit and then I'm gonna just take it off. But right now, all I'm gonna do is just get it cleaned up and get this boy put away. Uh, yeah, I made another mistake today. This got knocked off and bent, I think. But it wasn't a big deal. But that's what I mean. Every time I take it out, something happens to it. And I guess that's how it's gonna be. It's not like a car where you expect no scratches at all. It's. I mean, you expect to get some scratches, but I hope they just don't get too bad. So let me get to washing it right quick. All right. Another day. Hey, this is gonna be a real problem. Every single time I've let these things up, I have hit my tongue. Hey, I came in flying this time. I bent the heck out of that gutter. This is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to start parking this boy somewhere else really, really soon. Cause I'm gonna end up paying for a new gutter really, really soon. This is not gonna be good. And let me get this thing put away. Dang, go. Hey, so that hole that I dug out yesterday, it filled in today. And it filled in so much that if you look over there, that's where it can drain off at. So it filled itself in overnight and there was no rain last night. There was no rain last night. So somehow there's water constantly flowing. Now we did get rain yesterday, but could that water still be flowing? And if so, look how much water we got here. So I'm basically saying this could be an area that holds water well because this was just yesterday and it's full today it looks like it's going to be stagnant but it is starting to move towards that direction so let's dig more out over here make it wider see if it fills up more I'm gonna just clear this area out. Clear it and start digging. That's gonna be pretty cool. We ain't gonna do it no time soon though. We're gonna see how long this water lasts. 